So here we have the um, Surf Prep 5 inch brushless electric motor sander. This tool has four different speeds, operational speeds at 4,000, 7,000, 9,000, and 10,000 RPM. The construction of the tool and the integrity of the tool is built for industrial environments to take on heavy daily use, eight hours a day or more. Um, the tool is intuitive. They're, it's a very simple tool, although it's quite involved. There's a circuit board and a motor, and there's four connecting wires that connect the circuit board to the motor, and the two talk to one another. So if you overexert too much pressure down on the tool, the motor is going to sense that, relay a message back to the circuit board. And the circuit board ultimately is going to tell the motor, I'm going to slow you down to preserve your life. So we've done that for many reasons. Um, one, number one, is really so that uh, the operator understands that we're not grinding. This isn't a right angle grinder, it's a finishing sanding tool. So we wanna make sure that when an operator is sanding, all we're doing is removing cross grain and just cleaning up all these different areas for proper su uh, surface preparation for stain or any type of a coating. So I'm gonna run the tool. We've developed this with a throttle lever to simulate the, um, the air sanders. And there's a reason for that. It's because so many people in the industry that do uh, a lot of work, they're used to a throttle lever and um, we feel that you have better control with the tool with the throttle lever. So you just depress the lever and that automatically picks you up to the speed that uh, you want to be at. When you, d when you let the throttle lever go, the circuit board remembers the last RPM that you were running at. It immediately engages and starts you back at 10,000 RPM. Very ergonomic. Um, the exact weight you need without wearing down your arm, your wrist, your fingers, your forearm, your elbow, your upper arm, your shoulder, all of those things come into play when you're vertical sanding like on boxes or if you're on a hanging line we have a lot of um, finishing lines where it's a hanging line and um, smaller women are going up to a door hanging on a line or drawer fronts or parts and they've got a tool up above their shoulder that starts to really wear on you so we have really designed the tool with all those ergonomics uh, intact the other thing that you'll notice about the surf prep sander is that we're very low to the surface, the substrate we're sanding. We believe that the closer your hand is to the substrate, the better control you have over that product that you're sanding. So we're not gonna round over edges, we're not gonna create any defects or rejects to where you have to go back later and fix all those things. When you operate the tool, you start the lever, you depress the lever while the, the abrasive is on the surface. We're simply just gonna guide the tool around the surface, hitting this center panel here. When we come out to the frame, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna start on the frame, and we're just gonna remove that cross grain, and we're gonna melt that cross grain right off. We're gonna come down the style, we're gonna come back here, hit the rail, we're gonna come back up this style. Whatever amount of work you feel you need, you shouldn't be grinding this door. The, the tool was designed, the, dual, the tool was designed uh, with balance in mind. We wanted a tool that when you full throttled it right here, zero vibration in your arm. What does that mean while you're sanding? Well, when you're sanding, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna bring my hand up off the grip and I'm gonna simply hold the tool in place by putting light finger pressure down on the throttle lever. So we're gonna start here. I'm gonna move my finger here. This tool is gonna sit in one spot and it's gonna move under that light pressure. That's how balanced this tool is. So again, remember, Choosing the proper abrasive, abrasive, and we would suggest surf prep abrasives because we have sourced um, what we believe to be the best minerals and grains to shave the fiber of your wood or to shave the MDF or whatever material it is that you're sanding or prepping. We want to shave it. We don't want to drag it and rip it and compress it and, and tear it. <clears throat> so we want you to sand less, use less sandpaper, invest in this tool once, Invest in this backup pad, you know, take care of your tools, 
invest in this backup pad once. You might need a new backup pad because over time, you'll find that the hooks will wear out. <clears throat> so you get a new one, but you invest in this tool once, you never buy another one. And if you take care of it and you treat it with the respect that you would a professional woodworking tool, you'll never need to buy another one. And that's our hope for you. And our hope ultimately is that with our products, we're driving your labor costs down and your abrasive costs. So you're purchasing less sanding discs per month. You're not rebuying these things and your business is productive. You're running more lean and the profit stays in your pocket.